Alright, so Leo, let's see what's going to come up for you. Now keep in mind, this will not resonate for every Leo. If you like a personal reading, I'll leave that description down below. Other things, we also have tarot classes, money spells, love spells, protection spells, and so on, which will also be in the description down below. And if you'd like to become a member, feel free to do so. So let's see what's, what's going to come out for you. I this. this is the first one of the series, so it might be a little, <laughs> a little bit all over the place, but we'll figure it out. Let's have a look at what's currently going on with you first. Leo, either you yourself Are hurt, or there's someone around you who is hurting. Could be an earth sign. Splitting the deck, we have the King of Pentacles, the Three of Swords. High Priestess, first card out. High Priestess is Pisces energy, but obviously, if you're watching this reading, you are quite intuitive. This is confirmation, however, that. Intuition is very strong within you, heavily connected. Okay. This is a new deck, by the way. Okay, so Leo. We also have the Five of Swords. We have the Three of Wands. The Ace of Pentacles. We have the Ten of Wands. I hate how glossy these cards are. Like they, they look nice, but when you're like recording, it reflects everything. We have the Six of Swords. It's my advice to you if you're ever doing a recording with cards with that are glossy. You just don't. <laughs> we have the Hierophant, which is Taurus energy. Once again, more confirmation that you're heavily connected here. We have the Two of Swords. We have the Four of Wands. We have the Five of Pentacles. We have the Eight of Swords. We have the Seven of Swords. The Nine of Swords. For some reason, I see you kind of questioning it at times, Leo. I do think you are heavily connected. You have too many cards suggesting that you are. Okay. But I see you questioning it and overthinking it. That that's that's really. That's hurting your growth, okay? You gotta believe in yourself, you gotta feel more confident, like you... When you don't feel confident in yourself, and you're trying to do something in your life, and that is self-sabotaging, Seven of Swords, okay? Don't question yourself. There's a lot of good to you being connected here spiritually, to you helping others here spiritually. Okay, Leo, there's going to be a lot of new beginnings, a lot of newness coming into your life. I also feel like there may be people in your life giving you a hard time. I see that working out okay in you for the end. So let's see. Get grounded. Empaths, 
high sensitives connect with nature. This is telling you to be grounded, Leo. Yes, that like that worry, that anxiety. Okay, ground yourself. Listen to meditation music. You have a leap. You go first. The universe will catch you. This is telling you to have trust, have faith. Okay, take that first step. Take um. Have faith and trust, okay? Take leaps towards your light working, towards your spirituality. The universe will, will make sure that you're okay. We have transformation. Things are changing at a cellular level. Deep healing, deep transformation here, Leo. Your life is changing. You're changing other people's lives as well. And number 32, Lassia of Parvati. I don't know if I said that right, but we're going to have to take a look at the book for this one, because this deck's quite unique. And my first time using it. So let's learn together here, Leo. Got some weird cards here. <laughs> Says there's a gentler way to proceed and obtain the same or even greater effect. Tame the wild and frenzied workings of the mind by grounding yourself with beauty, pleasure, and grace. Violence and its negative effects shall be overcome and healed through feminine gentleness and inner spiritual strength. This oracle is a sign of great future happiness. Yeah, you have good things coming your way, okay, Leo? But you need to ground yourself. Like, just don't. Like I said, if you are having troubles in your life, those will be overcome. Things will work out for you. Number 31, embrace change. I move easily and confidently through the changes in my life. This is telling you to embrace change. Okay, Leo, take that leap. Have trust. This big transformation coming in your life is good for you. Okay. Number 36, abundance. I'm grateful for the abundance nature and the universe provide in my life. Yeah, there's, there's abundance at the end of this change or through this change. That's what's waiting for you. That's why it's telling you to... What is this? Number 32, movement meditation. I celebrate and honor my physical body through dance and movement. It's telling you to get moving. Go dancing, Leo. That may be how you calm yourself, how you ground yourself, okay? I thought I had more cards. Number 16, Dark Night of the Soul. Okay, so maybe some of you are, are going through that currently, but you're changing out of that. There's transformation. Let me see more about this card. Let me read this card to you. You are ready for a more real and radiant relationship with the divine. Your preconceived ideas and safe limiting beliefs may be sacrificed in order for this to happen. To the divine, these are only the clothing of your spirit. They are impediments to the absolute intimacy the divine seeks with you. You might feel vulnerable or uncertain as the divine goes about stripping away these barriers. This is when you enter the dark night of the soul. You understand there's nothing to rely upon but the divine. And you will find it difficult to trust at times. This night will end. However, and the sweetness of the divine is dawning, dawning in your heart shall render all worthwhile. But for now, you're meant to feel exactly as you feel. You're not doing something wrong. You are moving closer to the divine. Yeah, Leo, this is you moving closer to the divine here, okay? You're having things 
stripped away things that are bringing you down. This is you. Okay, you're going to be going through that. This is bringing big change. And at the end of that, there'll be abundance coming your way. Okay? Because you'll be closer to the divine here. So, really, have a trust. Have faith that it'll all work okay. And make sure that you really ground yourself. Like, you need to... If you're feeling anxiety, or if you're overthinking things, if you're doubting yourself, listen to some, some meditation music. Do something like that, okay? So, Leo, that is all I have for you. Let me know if that resonates. Thank you for watching. If you want to see more content, don't forget to like, subscribe. Bye, guys.